What's up everybody, Sir T. Giles here, and this is going to be my review for Episode 6, Season 6, Game of Thrones, Blood of My Blood. If you have not seen the episode, it's okay. Go watch it, come back. Spoilers all the way around. So, we get this whole stand down between the Sparrows and and um, the Lannister, or the Tyrells, and I must say... Mace Tyrell looked cooler than he looked from behind in the picture. His armor was very gorgeous, and the Tyrell soldiers' armor was very gorgeous. Now, this whole twist, I knew there was going to be a diplomatic situation when, <clears throat> you know, the, what, what went down. What I found shocking is when, when Tommy came out and the freaking King's Guard had seven-pointed stars on him. That was freaking crazy, man. Um... It was cool to see Horn, see Horn Hill. Um, Randall Tarley, a fucking asshole, man. It's not surprising. Um, I love how Gilly told him that he doesn't know what you are. And, oh my gosh, it was so comical seeing Heartsbane. Say I'm taking Heartsbane. I just find that so funny, man. That just made me laugh so hard. Um, it's crazy because in the beginning of, of when we saw Bran... I didn't think that was Benjen until we get reviewed, re revealed later that that is Benjen. I thought that it was just a, a cold, hand, cold hands, probably, possibly. But hey, we finally found out after so long what happened to Benjen, and that's pretty cool. I'm really psyched for next week. I, I saw in the trailer that we're finally going to see the Blackfish. It was pretty crazy seeing Walter Frey, man. <laughs> I wanted him to die, but we're going to have to wait till probably a few weeks from now. Uh, maybe next week, the week after. It was crazy to see Edmir too. <clears throat> wow. Edmir looked tore up, man. And, um, so let's get to the, this episode to me was a mild episode. It wasn't that great, but not yet. <laughs> the end of this episode, when I seen Daenerys on the back of Dro Drogon in her speech, that shot it up from a seven to eight and a half. I mean, that was an epic speech. And I'm just ready for Daenerys to head to Westeros. Man, this episode, it was decent. It was good. It was, you know, the, oh yeah, yeah. So the, the play with, with Arya was pretty cool. It seemed like that could have been the end when the waif told Jacken and Jacken was like, don't make her suffer. It made me think, you know, that was the end of the episode, even though I know there was some time left. But anyways, I think that Arya is going to kill the Waif. Obviously, you know, she's not going to be able to kill her. But it sucks, man, because that lady doesn't seem like a bad girl. And, you know, I wouldn't want to kill somebody who doesn't seem bad either, you know. But, hey, we'll see. <laughs> but I guess episode of eight and a half, it wasn't too bad. Catch me on the uh, on Don Willie's channel. We're about to do a reaction live stream video over on Don Willie's channel with a, with a bunch of hype. Heights Watch members. But anyways, this is Cyril T. Giles. Um, follow me on Twitter, Cyril T. Giles, and I'll follow you back. And catch you guys next time. Cyril T. out.